Then I'll get going, Dad. Don't push yourself too hard. My name is Makoto Somiya, and I'm a first-year high school student entering one of the prefecture's leading prep schools, Yuki High School. As you can see, I grew up in a not-so-rich family environment. Sorry, I can't go to see you in the entrance ceremony. It's fine. I'm able to go because you found a nursery school for my younger brother. I'm very grateful for that. Have a good time, brother! See ya! Be safe! Yep. Be good while I'm gone, okay? My mother died of an illness shortly after giving birth to my younger brother. So we're a single father family. But my father's ill and can't work. I had planned to start working immediately after graduating from junior high school, but my father insisted that I go to high school no matter what. So I agreed. Good morning. It appears we will be attending the same school again. Oh no. The one person I didn't want to see first thing in the morning. Her name is Kotone Sanjo. She lives next door and is my childhood friend, but her father's the head of a big company. So naturally, she's quite wealthy. She's also beautiful, and everyone around her looks up to her. Which always makes me feel like I'm being looked down upon. Sanjo, you're rich. So you should have gone to a private school with a better environment. My father said that living with ordinary people is an important lesson to learn. I see. Well, I'm running out of time. So I'm going. If you don't mind, would you like a ride? Since we are heading the same way, I don't mind taking you every day. Give me a break. It's embarrassing. No thanks. I'll pass. Kotone is constantly surrounded by people. She's a very rich and beautiful girl who's at the top of the school hierarchy. I perceive Kotone as if she's from another planet. Uh, wait a minute. Let's chat a little bit. I'll pass. It seems there are a lot of people who want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. Hey, what brought you to Yuki High School? Are you going to college? We are poor, so I don't intend to do that. I picked Yuki High School because I wanted to study to my heart's content and not have any regrets. Also, my father insisted on it no matter what. Hmm, sounds boring. You should enjoy your student life more. Why not join a club or participate in cultural activities? I work a part-time job, so I don't have time to do club activities. I also have to look after my brothers. Poor people are busy getting by. Sanjo and I live in completely different environments and would never meet. Perhaps it's because we're neighbors and went to school together all the time that she bothers me. She must find my existence as a poor man amusing. Hey, can I go already? The teacher's calling me. Yes, I suppose I got in your way. Yo, your meal looks cheap. I'd be embarrassed if I were you. This isn't a high school for poor people like you. Sorry. Hey, my bento looks even cheaper. Wanna take a look? Even so, I can study better than you guys. Damn it, let's leave this nobody. Guess there are jerks no matter where you go. Don't mind them. Ah, uh, thank you. I'm not rich, but I was able to enjoy my school life. As one of the leading prep schools in the prefecture, the study materials were free, and there were many wonderful people around me. So I was able to gain inspiration that would enrich my life. And just like that, my high school life was coming to an end. Makoto? Are you really not going to college? If it's a cost issue, I'll be able to do something about it. You could even aspire for national level with your skills. I've made up my mind. My father's health is unstable, and I don't want my brothers to worry about money. So I want to get a job and earn money as soon as possible. Very well. I understand. Then why not take a company tour? It's called Hogaraka Construction, and they're looking for a young man like you. When I went to visit Hogaraka Construction, the president kindly asked me about my family situation and other things, and offered conditions such as salary and benefits that would be a waste for a high school graduate like me. I began working for the company after graduating. Congratulations, Makoto. There will be a graduation party. Do you want to come? Sorry, but I have to work. I probably won't see you ever again, but see you. Yes. All right, let's take a break. Man, you're as serious as ever. You need to learn to idle a bit, or else you'll pass out. I'm perfectly fine. I want my two younger brothers to go to college. That's why I want to make as much as I can. I was well-liked by the president and seniors, and I quickly earned qualifications and rose through the ranks until I was entrusted with the work field. Chief, could you check over here? All right, please wait a moment. Yes, 
This is Somia. Huh? My father what?! My father was suffering from chest pain and called an ambulance. I got a call at work and rushed to the hospital. Dad, didn't I tell you not to push yourself so hard? Your father's heart is in a pretty bad state. So for the time being, let him rest and see how things go. I understand. I have to get it together. Father can't work anymore. I have to work harder. Yes, this is Somia. Sanjo? Why are you calling? That doesn't matter. Your father collapsed, right? Is he alright? Yes, for the time being. But I don't think I can go home yet. So I'm worried about my brothers. Okay then. Contact the nursery school and I will go pick them up. She cut off the phone. What was that? How does she know about what happened to my dad? Sanjo, I have a lot of things I want to ask you. Where is the house key? Huh? I can't get in. Hurry up and tell me. Um, the spare can be found behind the mailbox. Cut off again. I don't understand at all. Anyway, I'll notify my work and get home quickly. Huh? Everyone's gathered in front of the company. I wonder what happened. President, please explain! What are we to do tomorrow? President? What's going on? I'm sorry. It's all my fault. I was being too trusting and fell for a scam. Scam? Then what will happen to the company? Sorry, I'm drowning in debt. There's nothing I can do. I'm really sorry, everyone. I have to do something. Dad can't work, and there's the medical fees. I need to work, but now I'm out of a job. But I have to come up with something. I'm home. I'm sorry I'm late. Welcome back, brother. Father isn't coming home today? Uh, father has a cold, so he's staying in the hospital. So be patient and wait for him, okay? Okay, I'll do my best. Good boy. I'm so proud of you. Aren't you guys hungry? I'll make something right away. Sanjo really is here. Big Sis made dinner, so it's fine. The hamburger was delicious. That's good. I'm glad. Hope you don't mind me intruding. I made dinner and gave them a bath, so all that's left now is to tuck them in. Uh, sorry for troubling you. I'll take care of the rest. Sanjo? How do you know about my father's collapsing? Um, it's a long story. Big Sis, I'm sleepy! Come on, you two. Big Sis has to go home. Uh, I want to sleep with Big Sis. It's fine. It's late. So let's get you two to bed. I'll read you a bedtime story. Yeah! Yay! They fell right asleep. Looks like they were exhausted after all. Thank you for looking after them. Hey, can you tell me what's going on now? Right. Uh, the reason I know your father collapsed is because I was contacted by Hogareka. That company is a subcontractor of my father's company. They've been instructed to contact me if anything happened concerning you. Wait a minute. What do you mean? You were watching me this whole time? Why would you do that? Is it that fun to watch the poor suffer? That's not it. I'm just curious about you. More importantly, what are you going to do about your father and your job? You need help. It has nothing to do with you! Physical labor or whatever, I plan to do what I can to support my family! You'll break if you keep pushing yourself! Stop being so arrogant! What exactly is your intention? I don't understand. I don't understand. That's why I can't leave you alone. How can you be so kind to everyone? I couldn't understand. In the end, everyone who approaches me are solely interested in my father's power and money. I'm sick of it. But you're different. Even though you are going through a difficult time, you're always protecting people. Despite not getting anything in return. You moved in next door to me not long after my mother passed away. You don't remember, do you? You spent every day trying to make me laugh. But I will always remember. I will never forget it for the rest of my life. Things like that did happen, huh? You were kind not only to your family, but also to your classmates. When I saw you, I always thought to myself, I love you. I want you. But you were making a fool of me. I can't trust people who look down on the poor. I would never do something so foolish. It's true that I may be called, 
I never discriminate against people based on their financial status. That's true. In fact, I've never heard her say anything really bad about me. I may have misunderstood her. I was the one who assumed she wasn't a good person because she was rich. I just assumed you were bad and avoided you. I am such an idiot! You are far too mature. You always give it your all, so when times get tough, you shouldn't hold it in. I want you to be honest, at least when you are with me. Sanjo! For a long period, my feelings were like a glass full of water. Now that I lost my job and my father collapsed, it was already overflowing. Just as I was about to be crushed by such feelings and had nowhere to turn, her kindness broke me! I'm sorry, I... This isn't what... I'm sorry! <laughs> it's alright, Makoto. There's no need to apologize. Cry to your heart's content. Yeah! Thank you, Sancho! I'm so uncool. And I... I'm such an idiot! <laughs> Can't be helped. You're always trying too hard to look cool. I didn't cry even at my mother's funeral. I don't recall ever crying so much in my life. I don't remember much after that, but I seem to have fallen asleep. I can't remember the last time I slept so soundly. About a month after the day I cried, I was summoned to the president's office. The company won't go out of business? What do you mean? To be more precise, it's now part of the Sanjo group. Mr. Sanjo hired a lawyer to solve the fraud damage. I'm truly grateful. The Sanjo group is far more terrifyingly powerful than I had imagined. If I ever cross Kotone, I'll be obliterated. Makoto, you have to thank their daughter as well. Huh? Why's that? Oh, you didn't know? It was she who recommended you to our company, you know. Wait a minute. Huh? That means... When the professor said they were looking for someone like me, it was all thanks to Sanjo? I knew the conditions were certainly too good. That's not all. Miss would frequently contact me and ask, Is Makoto okay? He's a really capable person, so please look after him. Really? I had no idea. What's with her? Why would she go so far for me? Looks like you got a lot better. The doctor said you should be able to leave the hospital soon. Hmm? Did someone pay you a visit? Ah, uh, that's from the Sanjo's daughter. She even came all this way. Ah, perfect timing to let you know. Miss has always supported your brothers. You may not be aware, but she would sometimes come over to our house and play with the kids. That's why they were so attached to her. I thought it was strange. That's not all. She was the one who suggested the nursery school. Just when I was having trouble finding a nursery school, the young lady called out to me. It was the Sanjo Group's nursery school, and they wouldn't accept any money. Then that means... It was because of her that I was able to go to high school and have time to study? Kotone didn't say anything about that. I was also instructed to keep quiet about it. Maybe she knew you would object, saying something like, I refuse to rely on someone like her. I am very grateful I was able to get you to go to high school. I'm just an idiot who doesn't know anything. It's unusual for you to come to see me. I heard everything from the president about what you did for me. You even took care of my younger brothers. The cat is out of the bag. I suppose it's fine. I've already told you how I feel. If that's all, then I'll take my leave. Why would you go that far? I didn't do anything for you. I decided to make Makoto happy because you deserve it. I'm not sure how you feel, but I'm doing it of my own accord, so don't worry about it. I thought that if I did my best, I could manage somehow. About my father and my brothers, even my job, but I was wrong. I was watched over ever since I was little. How could I not fall for you? I love you, Kotone. Is that so? That's good. You should be more honest in front of me as well, Kotone. Stop trying to act cool. I understand. I will. I've always dreamed of this day. I'm so happy. After that, I started working at the Sanjo Group's headquarters and steadily built up my career. However, because Kotone is my direct supervisor, I've been having a lot of problems. You work really slow. Is this all you got? I'm sorry, Chief. She's definitely a sadist. A super sadist. 
My father's illness is improving, and the family is extremely happy right now. It's Big Sister's loss again! You are so weak! <laughs> One more time! It's already the eighth time! She's so competitive. She really hates losing. As though to compensate for the time we'd missed together, Kotone and I started going on dates to deepen our relationship. I'll definitely repay you for your kindness someday. You don't have to worry about it. That's why I kept it a secret from you. What a pain. I would have been okay even without your care. Yes, yes. But from now on, let's go into lover mode. All right. <clears throat> You look cute today, too, Kotone. Thank you. I love you, Makoto. Thank you for watching. How was today's video? Please check out our other videos as well.